Hi everyone, we're back here with another quiz. Today we're doing what character from Heartstopper are you? The introduction is, who would you be in Heartstopper? Graphic novel series by Alice Osman. If you have not read Heartstopper, put this down, read them, and come back. Don't take this too seriously. Now, I've only read the first one, but it was really good, so I'm just gonna like try this out. I'm also trying a different um recording setup too. I'm also doing my old one at the same time, so worst case it's gonna sound no different, but the audio quality hopefully will be a fair bit better on this one. I guess we'll find out, huh? Question one of ten is pick out one of my favorite musicians, and already I have a very good idea of what kind of person made this quiz. First option is uh, Phoebe Bridgers. She has one song, um, I Know the End. That's a really good song. I like that one, but I, I haven't heard too much else of hers, but I found most of her stuff kind of, I don't know, not for me. It was a bit slow for me. I'm saying that as like a Sufjan stan, but whatever. Second option is Mitski. I've heard Mitski, her style just, at least last time I heard it, it wasn't really for me. I haven't heard it in a while, so it might have changed. I might have, like, adapted to it, but I don't remember really liking her kind of stuff. It wasn't for me. The so next option is, I don't know who these people are. I do know because of who I am as a person. The fourth option is Hosier. Which ones? I've heard, like, the hits. I'm... He seems kind of, like, folk adjacent to me. I don't know. I, I'm more into, like, the weirdo hardcore kind of folk stuff hardcore folk you know what i mean the fifth option is you have bad taste in music incorrect i don't know if incorrect is referring to the author of this quiz or me i don't have a bad taste in music this person kind of does i don't want to be too mean but it's it's very like this is a very pinterest taste in music you know option six is mother mother who i really once again same thing not for me and girl in red i haven't heard i've seen girl in red with the others and so i'm guessing they're not going to be my kind of stuff but i'm just gonna go you have a bad taste in music i'm going to in my mind assume it applies to the person who made this quiz and not me as a person question two is what type of lights do you have in your bedroom I know, I kind of come into these quizzes trying to come up with some, like, good jokes, trying to have some funny bits to have, but I don't know how to make light bulb jokes, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, LED strips. Give me a good improv bit based on LED strips, I can't. Based on where I am, at least right now, I'm not gonna, like, just sit here and bust out some LED strip humor, I, I'm sorry. Our options are LED strips, I just use overhead lights. Tons of lamps, fairy lights, fairy lights and LED lights, mini lanterns all over the place, and I have a pretty powerful desk lamp. And I'm gonna go with the last option because that's what I use. Um, what am I supposed to say for this one? I'm sorry. I know it's, I shouldn't be like offloading my inability to riff on these onto you guys, but like, what am I supposed to do here? Question three is choose an aesthetic. First option is a painter frog, although I, he looks like a poser to me, like he doesn't have any brushes, he doesn't have anything, like, like it doesn't even look like a real palette. The second option is someone eating on a boat, and there's some, I'm not good with animals, I don't know if those are like ducks, I'll call them ducks, and I presume they're there as the main course, like they're about to be hunted by whoever's in the boat, they're gonna just leap out into the water and grab a fowl, as it were, and like spit roast that in the boat. Third option is someone bailing off a skateboard. I'm kind of a failure, especially at skateboarding, so I, this does ring true for me. That's kind of just what I do. Fourth option is a bunch of people in um, ghost face masks. I've never seen Scream, so I can't really comment on this one aesthetically. Fifth option is a terrible, um, like one of those aesthetic posts from Tumblr. Some goofy phrase written on a window. Overall, it's pretty lame, but I do you notice there's a handprint. I'm thinking it's just like written in with whatever they use to write the words. But it almost looks like there's someone on the other side of the window. Like, I don't know why. I don't think it is, but based on the background, my first assumption was this was a plane window. And the handprint was like someone outside of the plane, like trying to get in while they're like above, while they're like flying, you know? 
The sixth option is a frog enjoying his last moments alive as he's about to be crushed to death by those like oranges and lemons and citruses, whatever. I don't know if I'd be that happy if my cause of death was like falling oranges. Although it probably will be something along those lines, you know? And the last option um, is a bunch of people who think they're cool. I guess I hope it's not like the creator of this quiz, but I'm, I don't like these people. I don't know why, it's just instinctual, you know? I'm going with the skateboard. The skateboards are vibe, I guess. <laughs> the fourth question is pick a shade of green. I try to describe these questions normally, like, verbally to help anyone who's, like, visually impaired watching these, but, um, they're all green. I don't know what to tell you. Once again, I can't really... I didn't screen this on the quiz like I normally do. I... Man, it's green. Um, this one looks like the least vomity, I guess. Looks the most, like, foliagey, so we'll go with this shade of green. I don't have any comments except for this one has, like, half a stamp peeking out in the corner. I don't know what's up with that. Like, surely if they, like, cropped this from somewhere, you could just crop it a little closer, right? Like, you're not going to lose out on any details. It's just a solid color of green, you know? Question five is, what's your favorite food? Option one is sushi. I just had sushi a little while ago, like, real sushi for the first time. And it was, it was all right. It was good. It wasn't, it was good. Like, I'd have it again maybe sometime in the future, but it's not like a thing I'd eat regularly or something that was like super amazing for me. The second option is Sunday dinner and I gotta say that's not a food. If you if someone asks you what is your favorite food and you say oh I love Sunday dinner you're insane. You're like you're unhinged. If someone says that to you like just like leave. You're on a date trying to make small talk. They say that they're a serial killer. Get out of there. Sunday dinner. What is Sunday dinner? can eat whatever you want for dinner on Sunday. We're not in, like, some, like, Protestant... I don't know the breeds of Christian, but you can eat whatever you want on Sunday, all right? Don't be weird. Third option is croissants, which are, like, they're just fancy bread. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Croissants are good. I used to eat croissants all the time, actually, but why would they, like, be your favorite food? It's just bread. Fourth option is ravioli, which, um... Don't they put, like, spinach in them? <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my criticism. They put spinach in them. There you go. What else needs to be said? The fifth option is teriyaki chicken. Was teriyaki spelled wrong? What, what makes teriyaki chicken special? Like, is that a... These are all things they're gonna think are, like, common favorite foods, right? Is teriyaki chicken a super, like, major thing? This seems a little odd to me. The sixth, but not last option, is other with a heart. Which, to me, if these are ordered specifically, which they're not alphabetically, so I think they are. They would imply that our last option, pizza, is like... It's after every other possible food, so that implies pizza is not a food. It's kind of like... Meant to be there's like a subversive counterculture choice. I don't know if counterculture is the right term. You know what I mean. It's like... They're asking you to pick a favorite food, but instead of a food, you pick pizza. You gotta turn it on its head, you know? Question six is pick a place to travel to. First option is Paris, of course. I have been to Paris. It's really nice. Like, it's a popular place to, like, hate on, but it's really nice. It was probably, like, the best place I've ever been to on, like, a vacation kind of thing. Second option is Japan. I've never been to Japan, but I can see the appeal. Like, I wouldn't mind going there one day. But I know you have to, like, list up things to do if you go there. You don't want to just, like, hope the fun will find you like a lot of people seem to do, apparently. You also don't want to pull, like, a uh, Logan Paul, was it? Like, don't do that. Third option is Singapore, which, I don't know. I get it, but it's not really me. Fourth option is New York. Which, as time is going on here, America sounds like a scarier and scarier place to visit. Like, I know you gotta get some, like, weird insurances when you go there. And that goes for Las Vegas, too. Like, both of those places are, like, really populated, like, areas. Like, it sounds like there are places something bad might happen to you. I, I don't know. The last option is India, which, like... I guess Japan too, but they're not going to pick a place in India, just like the whole country. Like, it's a 
fairly reasonably big country. So, um, Paris, I think, is the best place on here, but I'm gonna go with Japan, because I haven't been there yet. Question seven is pick a piece of art. First option is Banksy. It's like a prisoner escaping. I'm not a big fan of Banksy. I don't know what's... I find, like, in the grand context of his works, a lot of the metaphors are, like, really blunt. Maybe it's me, but I don't know. The second option is Van Gogh. It's a painting of sunflowers. I really like this one. Like, I remember seeing a lot of Van Gogh when I was younger, and I couldn't, like, appreciate it. But now, being where I'm at, this is a really nice painting. Third option is Feliz Gonzalez Torres. I'm not going to research this for the context of this video, but that just looks like a photo of clocks to me. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe, like, I'm clearly missing something here, but... The photo itself, in isolation, doesn't provide enough context for me to understand what's being represented here. The fourth option is Monet, which is also really nice. It's a bit more realistic than, like, the Van Gogh, but it's got this kind of, like, it's partway between being realistic and, like, stylization. I think that's really interesting. I think it's really nice. Fifth option is Frida Kahlo. Her eyebrows are very impressive. I don't know enough about her work in the grander context of things though to give a proper comment on her stuff. The sixth option is Johannes Vermeer. I hope that's how you say his name. This is the only piece of art of his I've seen. Um, I only like know to appreciate it from the cultural references I've seen. I don't get like the... I don't get this one either. The last one is Gustav Klimt, which I really like his stuff. Like the texturing and the stuff is really nice i yeah the eighth option is are you in a relationship and i'm just gonna go with single i don't even know what's going on with a lot of these answers i don't really want to like humor them if you know what i mean N ninth question is are you fruity hmm i don't like girl in red i'm not gay but I'm not not, you know? So I'm gonna go with questioning. Once again, there's not a whole lot to be said here. I should have screened this one. I don't know if this one, this, uh, yeah. All right, this is a comment box. I haven't really gotten a good sense of, like, identity from this quiz, so I don't really have any common, like, themes or anything to grasp on to, because that's usually how I kind of do these. Uh, my first thought, I noticed the word vent in the question. I was going to make like an Among Us joke, but I think that's kind of overplayed. It also says I can like just vibe in the box, so I'm going to go... I'm just going to write something that doesn't make any sense here. I don't know. I'm struggling hard to come up with something good. They call me the Klimt because I'm hard to find. Uh, that's not great, but I don't have anything better. And the option I got was Harry Green. Please stay away from me. I don't remember this guy from the comic. I like the um, write-up though. You're popular because you bring out the worst in people. You need to work on yourself and learn to be a better person. And how did I rank up? 8%. I'm, I'm doing alright from this one. Yeah, I don't know what to say here. 